Hi everyone. I want to tell you something about my bridge port. It's got these all over it. Now these are the same fittings that are used for grease the world over, but on a bridge port they are not for grease, they're for oil. There are eight of these on my machine. One on either side of the knee, there's a couple on the back side of the saddle, there's these two on the front left hand side of the saddle, then I've got two more on the front right of the saddle. Using these eight fittings you can lubricate all the ways on the table for the X, the Y, and the Z. My machine does not have a one-shot oiler system where I just pull up a plunger and it shoots all the oil to where it needs to go. So I have to use these and somehow get the oil through them. So let me show you what I did. What I did was modify a mini grease gun like this. You can get these all over the place in the US. Hardware stores, auto parts stores. I happen to get this one from Harbor um, <coughs> Freight. Pardon me, I've got a frog in my throat apparently. Now this will pump grease of course, but it will also pump oil if you want it to. And in order to do this, the first thing you have to do is cut off this tube just past these little dimples that are holding on the bottom cap. Once you do that, you can take out the plunger, you can take out the spring that's in there, you can throw all of that stuff away. Then you make a cap that's going to fit inside the tube and you weld it onto the outside. And that's what I did here. I just made a solid steel plug. Uh, it's got a little bit of a boss that'll fit onto the inside of the tube. And once I made it up, I brought it over to a friend that can weld a lot better than I can and had him weld it up for me. That's the only modification you need to do. Just plug this in so it holds the oil and doesn't leak all over the place. Now when you use it, you are going to have to turn it upside down so the oil drains down into the pump mechanism and then you'll have to give it some squeezes until the oil actually comes out. Just like that. Plug it into your fitting and I usually just give it a few pumps until it squeezes out wherever it should, in this case right up here. Now, it is really common for people to see these and say, oh, those are grease cirques and they pump the table full of grease. So why is that a bad thing? Well for one thing Grease has a tendency to get a little bit weird over time. And by weird, I mean it solidifies and gets kind of waxy. Now I know that because when I bought this machine, the previous owner had been pumping grease into it for at least a couple of decades. There was grease everywhere. And of course when it solidified, it did so in all the channels that are supposed to be bringing the lubricant to the table. Grease is also very sticky, so it's going to grab onto any grit that's in the air and fine particles of metal, and it's going to basically become a lapping compound. We have a machine at work that had sat in another department for about 25 years and had grease all in it, and it was just flat out wax. The table couldn't even move, it was so thick. On that one, I actually had to take off the table and the saddle in order to clean out all of the channels and get all the grease out. Luckily I didn't have to do that with my machine. I did have to pump a tremendous amount of oil through all of the fittings to flush out as much of it as I could, and I'm sure I've still got some in there, but mostly what comes out when I pump oil through these is oil. I'm certainly not the first person to come up with this idea. I've read about it from a number of different sources on a bunch of different forums, and it seems to be a pretty common operation to do to a grease gun. They even actually sell a commercial one, but the commercial ones are quite expensive in the $120 to $150 range, uh, whereas I got this for about $15 US and a little bit of time, so it's kind of a no-brainer. Now, Before I modified my grease gun, I bought one of these. I think I got this from H&W Machine Repair over in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'll put a link to them down in the description. Basically, you just put it onto the fitting and give it a couple of pumps and it shoots the oil in there. I've seen these actually in farm stores around here full of grease as well. And you are able to refill these, but the problem is, is it comes with just a little rubber tab on the inside on this little plunger that you can see. I think I got about two refills out of it before that little tab ripped off, and I think the last time I refilled it, I used a pair of needle nose pliers to try to get that plunger out, and it didn't really work too well. That's when I decided to modify my grease gun. I hope this video was helpful to you, and hopefully got your mind grapes fermenting a little bit. 
So go out there and get yourself a cheap grease gun and do this quick and easy modification. You won't regret it. It makes your life a whole lot easier. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe button down below while you're here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.